Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. On this video, I'm gonna talk about the uh, map operator and map to operator, and I'm gonna show you the example using the uh, Pixum API, and I'm gonna manipulate the data before I send it to the uh, component here. So let's begin. So here, the, my project is running on the local host of 4200, and this is my uh, project called the uh, tool set here the okay so the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to my html here this is my html which is painting here in its browser so i'm gonna remove and i'll just put a test here so i don't need any uh, html uh, on this video i'm just gonna show in our console what's really going on so the first thing is i'm using this api if you guys don't know about the pixum then it's a free api that you can you guys can use it to test it out and this is only give you the the picture from the uh on uh most of the picture is coming from on here and this is a free api just to use it just to test it out and here I'm going to use the same API and I'm going to manip manipulate these the objects here, right here. I'm going to manipulate this object uh, before I send it to the component here. So the first thing I'm going to generate the uh, service. So I put ng generate s, which is going to be generate me a service. So here it generated me a service called the Pixum service. On this service, what I'm going to use is I'm going to use the HTTP client to call the get request and HTTP 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 client and i need to import the http client from angular and it's going to be from angular common slash http okay so once i import now i could use this so what i'm going to use it for to get the uh, pixum api right to get a pixum and this will uh, return me a uh, observable and observable type let's give any for now and i need to return this which is coming from http client and i need to put here the my url so once i put it now so now it's going to return me oh typo here pick some it's going to give me the pick some api so let's get this data on component side but before I get to the component, I also need to import here the module is called HTTP because I'm using the HTTP client. So the Angular doesn't know what the HTTP client is. So I need to import the HTTP client modules. Okay. So I also need to import this from the same one called Angular common slash HTTP okay now i could use it so now let's go to the component area and we can try to get the data and print on our console so when i go back to my app the, the ts file here i don't have anything here so i will implement on init function and i need to import uh, the on init functions right here ng on init because i this is the uh, life cycle hook, uh, life cycle, not hook, <laughs> life cycle. Uh, yeah, we can call hook also. Uh, yeah, hook uh, to triggering the my component here, uh, and it's calling test here when it's loading at first time. So now I need to use my services which I recently created, and I create on call as called pick some service i guess so i will double check it here and this is provide this injectable in the root so we don't need to provide any provider for this one so it's called pick some service and it's called pick some p small letter here so this is going to be my constructor and i need to import this where it's coming from my component doesn't know where is my service is coming from so I need to import uh, this. So now it knows that where it's coming from. So I will not see any error. So so now I could use the get pixel here, and I can subscribe my function. Okay. So this is a basic HTTP call. Okay. 
so now I'm getting my data right here as you guys can see it's giving me author download URL height ID URL whatever everything's right so I'm using the map now to manipulate this data so before I get the data in my component here I can change the couple of data in my service let's assume I only need the author and download URL I don't need the rest of the data at all but I know that we could also get it here and we can ignore it but we can send directly to the component that we don't want that data we just want the author and download URL we can say we're using the map operator on our service so let's build that okay so the first thing what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the I interface uh, I'm gonna create a sorry interface it's going to be I pick some interface and this interface I'm gonna use the author author is going to be string and another is going to be a download URL we just want this too okay it's going to be a pick some not uh, different this typo there so now here what we can use we can use something called pipe right and in the pipe function we can use the map operator and this map operator is need to become from the uh, rxjs operator because that's the operator one of the operator of rxjs rxjs slash operators okay so once i import that now i could use it here so now let's print the data here directly okay so i could print the data which is coming from the api on my service itself and but my component doesn't get any data because i haven't returned anything to my component so my component doesn't know the any data when it's trying to do a subscribe but i do have a data right here but, but when i'm trying to send this data to component then i could able to modify it is using the map operator so let's modify this so d is going to be it doesn't know what it's supposed to be but we know that this is going to be array so let's assume that we want the array of ipixum here and ipixum has only of auto and download url defined so we could only able to use that and we could able to use it and we will tell we'll return that okay return date is going to be a new object and this is going to be a author and d dot author uh hold on oh not so sorry we don't have to return here and as we know that d is going to be an array of pixum then we can use another map operator here and this map operator uh, is not from coming from the uh, rxjx operator this is a uh, another this is just a map which is has the array has a map function and this will loop the all this array that's all it's not operator sorry guys i said operator before but anyway so now let's uh, loop this data and i'm getting the another data here and let me write this is called pixum okay so this is going to be pixum object so each of the pixum object here and this is going to be i pixum so each of the pixum here will return the new pixum called author and this is going to be pixum dot author and the another is going to be a download url and this is going to be a pixum dot dot download url so now we are returning this and now still we can see on define we need to return this map as well now we can see the uh, author and download url and also we can, instead of using this here we could tell them okay we are using the array we are sending the array array of interface of the pixum so interface of the pixum i missed the another closing bracket so now it's giving me only the author and download url on my app component so that's why how we this is how we can uh, change or manipulate the data using the map and the pipe of course the functions on our http client or any observable we could do it and at the time of subscribing we could only able to send the data based on what we provided here 
So there is another operator which I'm going to show on this video. It's called, uh, I will add it here, call map to map to operator. So basically the map to operator will give you the string value. It doesn't give you anything. We could provide a string value here. I know it's going to give me an error because it's expecting the array, but I'll tell them, okay, this is going to be string guys. Uh, so this will only give me the uh, string here uh, and this only return me string. This would be only helpful when you are calling a multiple APIs using a fork join then it will call a multiple times that's all it does guys so i think that's all for this video i hope you guys learned something new and if you guys like my videos please uh, subscribe my channels and i'm gonna put on more videos on angular uh, react uh, spring boot uh, and it's, it's coming more guys coming a lot of good really good videos and that's all for this uh video and thank you very much for watching Bye for now.